Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai and I'm so excited. We're going to be going back into some Guns N' Roses today. I first listened to November Rain just a couple of months ago and honestly, we became so obsessed. I thought it was just such a grand, beautiful storytelling. I loved the way, you know, that everything just kind of came together, not just lyrically, but, you know, instrumentally. It kind of just told this really beautiful story and I kind of want to hear more of that guitar kind of serenading us at the end. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. I got a lot of uh, requests for Welcome to the Jungle, so here we are. If there's another one you'd like me to hear, as always, uh, let me know in the comments below. But if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with today's video. Always a cool guy with the leather jacket and a cigarette. Loving that bass. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. How do we know the names? We are the people that can find whatever you may need. If you got the money, honey, we got your disease. In the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Let's bring it to the jungle. We, we have a huge difference, a huge change of pace from November Rain. Um, November Rain felt like a, a nice like ballad. We're feeling, you know, lovey-dovey. We're feeling all of our feels, all these emotions. And here it's just like, okay, complete 180, which I'm kind of here for. Honestly, I love it all. We love all kinds of music here. So I'm here for some, you know, in your face, like uh, uh, crazy hair and just, you know, good old rock and roll. And then I like to get nice and lovey-dovey as well. I do a little slow dance with the community, but it's just so different. Um, I'm loving the different in his voice is just so like I don't know how to explain it's so like gritty and raw it's just like a nice like sizzling steak and you just kind of want to like flip it over a, a, a cast iron you know a grill or something it's just it's just cool it's just in your face it's energetic it's everything that you would want um, from this kind of era of music and um you know very much interested because it seems like they can do it all here we can do ballads and we can do some in your face go to a classic rock and roll so y'all have an assignment please send me some more of this send me something that you know I would love you guys know me also well so I'm excited for this journey um yeah it's kind of kind of i feel like i should have done some stretches before i watch this because now i'm ready to kind of party with them but let's continue <laughs> loving the eye contact i love that bass so much I mean, I'm here for it. I've, I've seen it all. We've watched some Zeppelin. We've literally watched a song about, you know, making making, making, making the babies. So we, we're all adults here. I, I, I like it, but I'm kind of digging this era. Everyone just seemed to, you know, use their microphone as a means of seduction. And I'm kind of liking that mating call. I feel like that would have worked on me if I was in this era. But I kind of want to hear that one more time for science reasons. So let's continue. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, before we get into the change here, I I, I gotta admit, um, I know it's kind of hard watching official music videos because a lot of the times you you lose a lot of things, you kind of get lost in the interpretation, and you kind of get distracted by all of the visuals. But um, now seeing all of the you know imagery, of the videos on the TVs, and obviously you're seeing this you know very sexy kind of playful side of the band, but then you see kind of the music, and you're just like, oh shit! Like it kind of like snaps you out uh, uh, back into reality. You seeing all of this craziness, you know, it gets worse here every day um and it's kind of like i guess like welcome to the jun uh, jungle like welcome to the shit show which is basically real life and then you get the like these sexy parts that are kind of like i don't know if it's kind of a, a, in a way kind of like a distraction um i'm assuming maybe like you know we see uh, you know sex cells and we see you know very like you know nice things overlaying all of the kind of almost bullshit it kind of like is covering up all the nastiness in the world and we get this like pretty little picture that we have you know it's easy to digest if you see it that way because if you actually saw you know how much of a jungle the world was then you'd be miserable um because it's just yeah so i feel like it's like the sexy fun parts are kind of covering up the, the the nastiness of the world i don't know maybe i'm overthinking um but obviously with the imagery and the tvs it kind of seems like they're alluding to something like that and obviously with that one line um you know before when he said animals so like he's so aggressively so gritty it kind of feels like he was emphasizing that lyric um specifically uh yeah um i you know i you know me if you were in this channel you know i talk a lot so i'm so sorry but yeah let's continue jungle kind of like we all just got impregnated by him watching this um yeah that was that was that was that was a video that was definitely a, 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 a good one to watch with y'all i felt like you know honestly when i was first watching it it felt very you know sexy kind of like that kind of hair metal kind of vibe that you like you know good old rock and roll you just want to you know grab a beer you just want to just dance around you just want to like feel yourself immerse yourself in the music and all of the you know instruments the, the the guitars that bass was killer the drums everything was so fantastic but then you see the imagery and then you actually start listening to the lyrics and you know it doesn't seem like such a happy-go-lucky song anymore it doesn't feel like a good old like a beat you know song it's kind of like welcome to the jungle it gets worse here every day and you see you know uh, all of the you know the officers you see all of these people you saw uh, bodies you know uh obviously dead bodies going into the you know the ambulance you're seeing all of this ugliness but then you're seeing you know you know some sexiness you know you're seeing you know very voluptuous women it's kind of like distracting us it's like oh it's like a nice little shiny distraction that you'd rather focus on this instead and I, we're all guilty of it i do it all the time there's 
obviously, like I mentioned, it's kind of like a nice way of sugarcoating the aggressiveness of the state of the world. You know, it's it's almost like it's put into like a pretty little package that way we can all digest it nicely instead of, you know, really just taking back and soaking and like, whoa, this is a, a kind of a messed up place here. Um, and it gets worse here every day. And I, I really, really honestly quite enjoyed this. I love, you know, when a song, especially when a music video, you can see more of an artistic side and you can kind of see you know, something that I, I remember, like when I first watched a, a Metallica one, I had heard that song so many times. I had never seen the actual video before. It changed the meaning completely. And I feel like uh, this is one of those things, like if you are, you know, into this era and you've never seen this video, it's like, oh shit, it kind of opens your eyes. And maybe you start seeing things a little bit differently, which I think is kind of cool, kind of cool that they have this, you know, very uh, uh, deep and, and analytical side to them. Um, and we got a nice little, you know, love ballad and we got a lot of heartbreak and emotions in that one in November rain. And here it's very in your face, shaking you, waking you up to like kind of open your eyes and just see for yourself. Um, yeah, I, I, another incredible choice that you guys have sent my way. I greatly appreciate it. I know I rambled a lot on this one, but I guess it's a good sign that you guys did a good job. And I really enjoyed the videos you guys sent me. So if I ramble a lot, you did good. So thank you so much for this one. Let me know which other ones uh, that you'd like me to hear from Guns N' Roses uh, or any other band for that matter. Uh, we have a growing list. I do have a full list this week. So don't worry. I'm doing a full week of reactions. We have been gone for a while. I've been a little MIA, but we are back and I cannot wait to continue with y'all. So yeah, we're just going to keep it rolling and keep jamming out together. Um, but if you want to hang out with me when I'm not here on YouTube, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would like to get to know you guys. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. We talk, we sing, we play guitar, we uh, work out, we play games. We do a little bit of everything. So I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit better. And we can grow this little tight-knit community and, and, and become a little family over there on Twitch. But... Other than that, videos every day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.